Hello, hello. I'm going to do another spotlight video today and get a focus on a specific species that I own. I've done one previously for the wide-armed mantis and it was interesting to have more of an in-depth look at the species and find out some more facts around that specific mantis. So I've got another one of my favourites today which I'm going to try and coax out but I'm a little bit dubious because it's quite flighty and I'm nervous that she's going to or he's going to try and fly away but let's try it and see. The room's secure so if it makes a break for it at least it won't be able to go far. He's being surprisingly chill at the moment. <clears throat> I wonder whether that's part of the defence mechanisms that they have which I will talk about shortly. Just want to try and get him on my hand if he's willing. This is going to go one of two ways. Either he'll get on my hand or he's going to make a break for it and fly. All right, cool. So before this guy decides to take flight, this is a Deraplatis desiccata, which is a giant dead leaf mantis. And as you can probably see and probably guess, he's fully mature, got his wings there. He's had a recent spritz of water, so they're looking a little bit damp at the moment, but that's fine. It might even prevent him flying, I don't know. So let's pop him on this little display area and then we can have a little chat about this really cool species. I had to write this down just so I remember where they're from. So they come from Borneo, Indonesia, Samara and the Philippines and Malaysia. As you can see by the brown shades of coloration, its camouflage is mainly around sort of leaf litter and mimicking dead leaves on the ground. And that's part of its defense mechanism. So if this guy feels threatened, he will either stand his ground and put up his dematic display. So he'll raise up his raptors, open up his wings, which have little black spots on them to try and mimic maybe something a bit more intimidating and scare off any potential birds as those little black spots will look like eyes and deter any predators that might want to have him for lunch. That's one tactic or he'll just wimp out and just throw himself on the ground and pretend to be a dead leaf, hence dead leaf mantis. And if they do that you can, you know, you, you might even be able to pick them up and they won't move, they will just pretend that they're dead or just, oh I'm just a leaf laying on the ground, don't eat me. And then once he feels more safe, he'll probably just get up and run away as quick as he can. And just to help with that mimicry, you can probably see here, if I get a better angle, he has that large shield on his back, which is his prothorax, and that will help him with his mimicry. I mean, that mimicry is already pretty impressive because I keep him in this enclosure here. And even in this area, sometimes it's difficult to spot him. So yeah, I think if this little guy was on the ground, you just, you would not see him within the leaf litter. No way. Don't you fly. I can see you thinking about it. No, come on, stay where we can see you. So the males will be slightly smaller, uh, seven to eight centimeters, and the females will be around nine centimeters. So this guy's a male, but they are a big species for a mantis, one of the bigger ones. Similar size to the giant Asian mantis. You can keep them from around 26 degrees centigrade um, or slightly higher if you prefer. I always tend to go on the lower end for all of my mantids because it does then prolong their life slightly as they'll have a slower metabolism and they'll grow a little bit slower and then they won't reach maturity quite as fast. Come here you, it's very sneaky but so this guy's fairly chilled at the moment, but they can be rather skittish at times. I've had it before where I've tried to get him out and he has been very flighty, not in the sense of flying. I haven't actually seen him fly yet, but you know, darting around the cage and trying to get away, which, which thankfully he's not doing today. He's just quite content to come out and show off. Another note, this little guy is fairly, fairly friendly. Like if you put your hand out, as you can see, he's quite willing to hop along and see what's going on. It's been one of my favorites. I don't know why, but it's just because he's been so curious throughout growing up and he looks very cool. He looks quite unique as well. I'll get some macro shots shortly, but I didn't, just the way that their little face looks, I think it's really cute. And the inside of those raptors as well are so wonderfully colored, like a little tiger. I forgot to say as well, he's actually got a name uh, and his name's Rusty. 
and that was from one of you guys who suggested that so thank you so much for providing a name i think it really suits him as well just because he's got that brown tinge and he's got the orange as well on his raptors but just such a unique curiosity about him Humidity for these guys is between 50 and 80%. So fairly humid. I tend to spray his enclosure a couple of times a week and that does the job. He's obviously grown here to a healthy size and never had any issues with him at all. Interestingly, if you see his prothorax, it's fairly rounded, whereas the females will have more of a sharper curve on each side. Come here, Rusty, you're getting away a bit too far there, mate. Just due to the humidity requirements and the additional heat, he's kind of seen as an intermediate species. But I've never had any problems. He's just been a real pleasure to keep. As per most of my mantids, he has a diet of blue bottle flies now that he's reached maturity, sort of the biggest flies you can get. And sometimes I supplement that with something a bit different like mealworms and uh, the occasional locust, which I'll give him today. Let's set him down and then we'll see if we can get some feeding action out of him. I've got a locust ready to go. So providing he's hungry, we should get to see him take one of those down. Let's give it a go. All right, hop on there for me, Rusty, and we'll grab you some dindins. Don't fly anywhere. Behave. Wow, there he goes. Oh, I hope I got that because that was so cool seeing his uh, wings coming out there. Not surprisingly, he's found himself on a plant that I have on my window ledge. As usual, they'll normally fly towards the light. Well, you sit there and we'll get you a locust. I'd love to be able to have just a wild mantis in the house. So I remember when I was really young, my dad used to work with plants and something got imported and it had a locust on it and he brought it home and I found it so fascinating, just this huge locust. It's mad now that you just get pots of them for like three quid and it's just easy to get them when they used to be such a sort of rarity when I was young, that is, which was a while ago. Right, Mr. Rusty, are you gonna have this tasty treat? Or are you gonna fly away again? What do you think of this? Oh. Seems a bit shy of it. Oh, maybe he's not hungry. No, I don't think he's interested. All right, we won't pressure him too much. I don't think he's hungry. We'll try a blue bottle and see if that piques his interest anymore. What about this? Does that look better? He did not like that. Get it out of my face, it stinks. You're gonna be picky today, are you? All right, well, that's it for today from me and Rusty. Hope you enjoyed the little spotlight and having a look at this guy in a bit more depth. I definitely recommend this species again. I mean, I'm going to say that about all of the mantids I've got because they're also, they've all got their own unique characteristic that makes them kind of stand out. But as far as mantids go, he's got so much character and he's really hand, been really handleable, especially all the way up to adulthood. Obviously, when they've got wings, it's a, you have to be a little bit careful, but he's just been a joy to keep so far. So. Hopefully now he's an adult, we'll still have him for a few more months. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I usually post about twice a week, so if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. Until next time, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.